to start off with laying down Japanese textured paper so that I'm not working on a blank piece of paper or a blank canvas and it gives you a start and it makes everything sort of follow on and become more relaxed and sometimes I, I just think with the paper there and paint on top of it gives you an idea of something else so I never have a fixed sort of image in my head when I start it grows and I think it's quite nice just to sometimes look at a painting upside down or I'm a great believer in looking at an image in a mirror because you see it in a completely different way and see how the balance is going and the, the tone. So um, that's really a lovely way to start. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I'm doing a similar kind of thing in that I'm laying down these marks with um, PB and, and dust, marble dust. Mm -hmm. And it's a thickness, you can put it on in like a slab of butter and <laughs> cut into it make small indentations and then they conjure up other things. I usually start with an image in my head of it. I'm roughly going to do something like a, a point or I'm going to do a something like a church or like a, 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 a doorway yeah. uh, and but I don't know what it's going to be like at the end. But it starts out, you start working and you're working and you scrape away and you mark your way and then you paint in the small bits and you move everything about and until it eventually there's a rightness of what they used to call in the sixties, rightness of rightness of surface, right, rightness of idea. And um, I just find it quite exciting. And I find it quite Quite good in that we've talked about mysticism. Have you talked about how when you were painting, you can get lost in the painting? Yes. And you, you can't remember certain things that you do. And I do the same thing. I, I get totally lost, and sometimes things happen and they come out, and it's not. Uh, Picasso used to say, don't seek, find. Mm -hmm. So don't have a concrete idea. Let it come out, find in the painting what it is. Because it's a painting you're doing. You're not copying something, you're not doing the, you're actually producing a painting and there are lots of ways in that you can produce that painting. Yes, it's quite interesting because I mean I know that I'm wanting maybe to paint a, a, a scene, a snowy scene or something like that. But because I've got the paper down first, then sometimes a snowy scene can become, oh, a scene in August or lovely barley fields, you know, and you can obliterate an area that maybe is not working, put slab a, a bit of paper on it and just think, now that's so much better. It, it actually isn't as busy so that your eye can move around the painting um, in a sort of orchestrated manner. I remember Morocco saying that a painting sometimes looks like a sheet of music where your eyes can dance along the melody, if you like. And I think I, it's not set in stone. It's not like there's a photograph, I'm going to reproduce that. Why bother? You know. So that's 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 the way I think anyway. So it's quite similar in a way, Benson. you know, that we, we don't have a Idea, a fixed idea of the finished article in our heads before we start. Well, it'd be worth it. I, I sometimes find paintings like that are boring. The ones that are fixed and you know where you start. <laughs> From left to right. And you can <laughs> think, oh, good, because that's what we did. And I'm doing my hair. Here's an apple, paint an apple, put yes. it end up at the end, an apple. <laughs> and you think, Oh, <laughs> profound. I'm <laughs> feeling it, it should be enhancing or, or do something more that makes it become more alive. Yeah. What's a Dundee painter who, who, who did um, over the river day that we know of? Mackenzie Mac. Um, Mac Macintosh. Yes, yes, yes. Macintosh Patrick. That's right. Well, yes. I, I was down in, when I was 15 or 16, I was down at Tower Castle. Which was the art course for Blackburn school boys. 
and the Macintosh was doing a still of the, the landscape and with a big tree and it was obscuring stuff that I was in a modern road to try and find a way to look and see. And he said to me, and it was one of these three moments click, um, he said, don't put it in. Yes, yes. It didn't have to put it nobody knows it's there. <laughs> Only you know it's there. Yes. Just the freedom to change. Change, change and move it. 